Okay, guys, this is going to be for Aquarius and Pluto. We're going to look into your energies and then your person's. Keep in mind that energies can be reversed. This could be on one side. It could be your person. And then the other, it could be you. As well as, it's not necessarily for a person. These cards have different meanings. So it can go for like family, friends, somebody that you're really close to, you know. And how they are in their head, basically. Ooh, somebody's got a soul's eye. It's also a choice between lovers. Yeah, you get an equal give and take, possibly from a Leo. Yeah, that is your wanting equal give and take from a Leo. Someone with Leo in their chart. Yeah, you feel like this is your love. Like this person makes you feel happy. And it's a new opportunity. It feels like unconditional love. But it's going to take a lot of balance and patience and time. Yeah. This person might be at a distance, so. Again, there's a Leo. So, this is a Leo from your past. Or, um... Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they could have a Cancer in their chart as well. But this is like traveling to see a, a fire sign that's from your past. Um, could have to do... Oh. Okay. This is traveling, this, um, being nostalgic about a past earth sign that this fire sign is worried about. There's been an ending here. Someone got, uh, someone got cut off. Either that or there's two males. Um, let's see, this is this non committal energy. Let's see. Again, Leo. New beginning, new love. This could be a new love or an old love that's coming back with uh, emotion. Like, okay, this person made you happy enough whenever you were doing the non-committal thing. Like friends with benefits, uh, player type energy. This person made you happy at one point. Whether you're the fire sign or the earth sign, it looks like the fire sign is pretty nostalgic. Probably having to deal with a pregnancy or a Libra as well. Yeah, right now you're happily single. This is getting your money together. This is um, Aquarius. Having it in your chart counts. You're the star, though. There's very, uh, like, you have hope with yourself, dude. You're in your power. You're resting, probably sleeping a lot at the same time. Um, you could be a fire sign with Aquarius in Aquarius and Pluto or an earth sign with Aquarius and Pluto. But this is communication coming in. I didn't mean to do that. Oh shit. What's crossing that? What's crossing you making money and being happy on your own is you're still stuck on the betrayals of the past and that keeps you in a depressed state. There's like you don't want to go to work, you don't want to do anything. You're refusing to end these cycles too. Because at one point it was a family type of situation. Hmm. This is also you and your mothering energy, or, I mean, this could be, like, like I said, it could be friends and, oh, shit, okay. Um, 
there's fighting right now going on with uh, an earth sign, female earth sign, or a mothering figure, someone you are loyal to. Shut up. Yeah, you have your guard up to this person, whether or not this is um, this earth sign feeling like they have competition, so they're keeping their guards up. Again, the Empress here, they're taking care of themselves. Here's Sagittarius card. Um, this is having the balance after that ending. This is creating your own harmony. It's Getting your mind right, like I'm going to just start saying that, but it's balance. You feel more balanced whenever cycles haven't ended? Like, you're using your intuition. Alright, I got you, but you're dropping the burdens here, and then you feel like this is karmic fucking justice. Oh yeah, it is. Sounds like it. Right. Let's see. That communication card about not being able to make a decision. Are you worried that somebody's gonna not gonna be able to make a decision? What's this communication about? I wanna know who this King of Wands is too. Because we know the Queen of Pentacles, that's somebody who has their money right there, mothering energy. But they're on the, the defense right now. Okay, this person is stuck. Manifesting secrets being revealed about a, ha about a family. So now somebody has a decision between an earth sign or somebody with their money if that has their money in line. Uh, very loyal. They see this person as toxic though. Hmm. Here, this person is manifesting. I don't know if it's you or I don't know if it's the person you're dealing with. They're, but they've come out of... Like, they possibly lost the house, lost the family type of situation. They were committed to this. So, they're in a bad place right now, and they're kind of, they're depressed. They feel like they're losing their friends, their family, but they're committed to making themselves better. At the bottom of that is a tower. Yeah, they went through a recent tower moment. Um, trying to find some form of higher learning, kind of changed their ways a little bit. Uh, the communication is about having the strength. The strength for what? Here, the Empress again. It could be dealing with a Libra or just having the strength. Oh, shit! Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine right there. You guys are waiting for the count. This is a mothering energy as well. And then we have the father figure. Somebody that's kind of controlling but has their shit together. Uh, they're very wise. Alright, let's see what this strength's about. There could be a pregnancy involved. Uh, and that's... The secret is that... Uh, their family is falling apart. Their finances are falling apart. They have to have the strength to get through it and wait. This is like a downgrade in finances. Like they were sharing finances. Here's Leo again. That's the ah, throat chakra. Fuck. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is either another fire sign that whoever is dealing with, like it could be a fire sign male dealing with two people, uh, could be a fire sign or another sign, 
or this is whoever is watching this is it uh, if you're female feminine energy type you're in both of these energies and after you took a financial hit you're gaining your confidence back because you're hiding money yeah that or you're holding back that you're happily in a relationship um or this person oh this leo that's a lot of me again uh, could be involving a pregnancy or a baby's mother. This could be um, an Aries Leo Sagittarius. That's ah, oh, they're not happy with their home situation and their commitment. That's why their family is falling apart. Um, somebody could be pregnant in this situation, but don't look too uh, much into that. This, is, Since it's paired with the Queen of Wands, I see this as getting your confidence together as you're like working on yourself in general. So that could be it too. But this is no longer feeling out in the cold and having a, rec a reconciliation with an equal give and take, possibly with a water sign. So, you might have been married to this person or loyal to this person. Now, this is dropping toxicities and no longer juggling. Holding back, and I just saw the Three of Swords, so yeah, it might be a third party. This, uh, whoever this fire sign is, is, is gaining their confidence back. They're getting in that Empress energy where I'm the fucking queen. I don't juggle. I don't do this toxic bullshit. I'm stopping, basically. Let's see. I'm going to get a couple more cards for why this person is on the defense. Um, okay. They're worried about giving too much to the situation. They, it could be their past person. Um... And the, you could be like this past person taking a shift in your energy. Like maybe your finances went to shit, but you're gaining the confidence back up to get there. You might have another opportunity come in where you can actually make some and be able to give some out and help people in need. Um, but this is trying to jump into a reconciliation too soon. And that's what trying not to do. Could be Aries Scorpio as well as Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Somebody had an ending here or ending something with um, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and they're starting to transform at the same time. Um, let's see. They're waiting for this ending. So a new begin, uh, like basically, okay, once this ending came with this uh, air sign, this right here is waiting on that new cycle to start, basically, because this is throwing the old cycle, yeah, messages, um, waiting on messages. Waiting, again, waiting on finances, this is a pair too. Uh, and there is the Queen of Cups. So this is uh, keeping your emotions on your sleeve. Actually giving people your all and wanting to do whatever it takes. Um, this could be waiting on them getting their finances together to where they can go towards someone. Or this is you and your energy. And you're waiting on an earth sign, but ended it with an air sign. There's a lot of people here. Yeah, not using your intuition about giving an offering. I don't know who they accepted. This. There was a lot of people here, though. I mean, at first it was fine. It was like basic three-party, but... Like, either that or a basic transformation within someone, you know?
it could be one male one masculine energy that is taking on all of these two like i got my fan of finances together i'm passionate about what i freaking do and i'm willing to cut someone off and this is this person getting into their power get a, like actually releasing toxicity and working on themselves but not using their intuition on a situation all right, we're going to get into this. Let's see. This could be you or the person that you are dealing with or somebody close to you that is dealing with this situation. Or it could just not be for you. One of those. There's that toxicity, that obsessive thinking. This is coming out of it. Uh, you might be a Leo, a Leo Sagittarius or Aries. This is that toxic cycle. There you go. It could be a fire sign that I'm dealing with. It could be a, be a feminine or a masculine energy, just more in their masculine side, taking action. It's looking the devil right in the eyes, though. This is justice. Um, could be dealing with a court case. Um, let's see. What's this toxicity? You quit juggling. So now you're having obsessive thoughts. This is a lack of balance as well. What's the matter, baby? Are you okay? Okay. Yeah. Again, lack of balance. Heartbroken. You're pulling your emotions out of a situation. What's up, buddy? Hey. Um, there's Libra here as well. I don't know. But Libra Capricorn. This is not feeling like you could push forward. I'm not going to do too long on this. Um, you could be a Virgo. Uh, Libra Capricorn. But this is feeling like you can't push forward, so you've been staying to yourself because the wheel's not turning. Or your person. Yeah, feeling left out in the cold. This is isolation. No longer waiting and ending possibly with a cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries. You want them? Sorry. Yeah, being guarded because at one point in time this person left you out in the cold or you left them out in the cold. Uh, could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh my God, these are just like... Awesome. So you guys mirror each other bad. Not of Wands came right... Yeah, you... Whoever you are, Fire Sign, you're wanting this... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it's not moving right now because there might be a third party. Maybe friends are standing in the way too. There's two men here and one woman, a uh, air sign, a fire sign. This is, um, okay, they're not moving forward. With an air sign or they got cut off by an air sign and feeling insecure, not really seeing the good. Yeah, refusing for cycles in, but I'm better off on my own because manipulation came out. 
What, baby? Okay. Yeah, there's heartbreak here. This is... Same story. Whatever this is, they're waiting on an apology. And for her to stop being so stagnant. There's been an ending. This person is transforming. Um, they're waiting on an apology or a gift. They're manifesting this. Yeah, manifesting going to calmer waters. I'm going to get a few more, and then I'm going to get a romance oracle for you guys. I could have Pisces in their chart. This is not having all the information here. You're basically, whoever is on this side, they are basically debating on whether or not to look you up. Uh, you might be, they might be manifesting and finding out information about a past person. This is not, a, well, this is actually making a decision. How I see it. But this is about, like, a decision about a commitment with a past person. Yeah, this is moving forward with him and actually being able to celebrate. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, no longer giving it to you. Not really using your intuition about your money, though. Uh, whoever this is, anyways. Um, again, this is not making a decision over what. Or this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone they see as stable, loyal to them, blah, blah, um, damn. So this is torn between two. And holding back, yeah, holding back finances, emotions. <clears throat> Are you going to do that every time I talk? If I'm not talking to you, I'm not allowed. <laughs> right. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys. I'm going to finish this up real quick. She's cranky. But it says, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later.